When you talk about the UP election viewer, no constituency is more high profile, talked about or recognizable or identifiable than Ameti. And that's because for decades together, it was what we call in the media a Gandhi bastion. The representative of the Lok Sabha MP from there has usually been a Gandhi, including Rahul Gandhi, all the way from 2004 till 2019 when he lost to Smriti Irani. Now there's a great deal of suspense over who the Congress is going to field from Ameti. There's a big black hole as far as the Congress's candidature from Ameti is concerned. The BJP in its first list had announced that Smriti Irani, the sitting MP, would continue to fight from that seat. Now, Ameti is one of the battles to watch out for in this Lok Sabha election because of the tantalizing possibility of another clash of the so-called titans, Smriti versus Rahul Gandhi. Well, the Congress is tight-lipped about its Ameti candidate, but sources tell India Today's Mosmi Singh, who tracks the Congress party, that Rahul Gandhi is almost confirmed as the candidate from the Gandhi bastion. That's right. Remember, Rahul Gandhi recently filed his nomination from Wayanad in Kerala, but Mosmi, my colleague, hears that Rahul Gandhi is being finalized for Ameti, setting up what stands to be Rahul versus Smriti 2.0. According to reports, the grand old party could declare Rahul Gandhi as its Ameti warrior after the Wayanad election. Now, they still have some time to actually declare Rahul Gandhi's name, but the delay has sent out entirely the wrong message. It has shown up the Congress as being reluctant, hesitant, nervous, indecisive, and not quite sure itself. It has also fueled rumors of a possible rift within the leadership of the Congress party. Well, the party is timing what it hopes will be a political masterstroke to balance the sentiments of both Wayanad and Amethi voters. Because if he announces Amethi right away, how does it look for the people of Wayanad? Because it blew up badly in his face when he had announced Wayanad while fighting from Amethi in 2019. The Grand Old Party is likely to declare the Amethi candidature of Rahul Gandhi only after polling in Wayanad is over on the 26th of April, the same day that nominations for Amethi will roll open. Now, along with this, the Congress is also readying the battleground of Amethi at the booth level it has begun to do some work. Let me go straight across to India today is Mosmi Singh, who has filed this brave report, uh, you know, because at a time when there is a widespread spread speculation over whether Rahul will or won't, you know, when will it happen, why the delay, are the brother and sister fighting, you know, why has Vadra suddenly thrown his hat into the ring, etc. Mosmi says she's gone out on a limb, filed this report saying that she's heard that Rahul Gandhi is virtually finalized. It's just a matter of the timing. But it's taken a while to get to this point. Mosami, tell us why you think Rahul is virtually finalized as candidate for Amethi. Right, Shiv. So I'm sticking my neck out on this one uh, because uh, this is the report is based on uh, simply the feelers, the indicators, and the facts uh, that are there on the ground. Uh, one, if you see uh, the Amethi, uh, as far as gearing up for battleground Amethi is concerned, the guarantee cards have reached Amethi, which mm. bear a picture of Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi. Uh, those are the big uh, faces that you'll see. All the others are miniatures. So we've seen those guarantee cards uh, that are being distributed. Uh, almost 8,500 booth-level workers uh, who are called the Purva Prabhup have been appointed. The district committee is being ready so uh, so that the battleground is ready uh, for uh, Rahul Gandhi when he makes use highly likely yes. to make that entry after the, after the 26th. And very importantly, you know, uh, the Congress feels that it's wearing out the enemy, uh, whereas, you know, even today, Smriti Irani has launched a frontal attack on Rahul Gandhi saying that he's gone abroad, though he's still in India. So mm. the Congress feels that you're wearing out the enemy while you push it to the very last, you have advantage, uh, why not? And then you uh, set in after the 26th yeah. and uh, get the upper hand is what the Congress party feels. The strategy could work either ways. You get very little time on hand to reach out to each and every nook and corner of a Amethi, which is a huge constituency as well. So there are negatives on both sides. Mm. But, you know, there has been no survey of feedback as far as who can be the second wrong leader 
who can contest from Amethi. There's been a backlash when Supriya Srinath's name, name was uh, mooted or speculated uh, from, from within the Congress party. Congress workers said, if that will be the case, then we will fight not Smriti Rani, but any other Congress leader will contest mm. from Amethi. So the Amethi Congress workers also are mounting the pressure on the leadership. And that's right. why I feel that it's going to be Rahul Gandhi or another Gandhi member okay. for that matter, finally. Okay, very, very interesting, uh, you know, all, already being set up to be a big fight. We'll have to see, uh, you know, what happens. Uh, Mosmi has stuck her neck out by the 26th of this month. Perhaps earlier we will know, uh, you know, what the Congress has finally decided. Is it going to be Rahul Gandhi? Are they going to back down from another big clash? We will know that very, very soon. But remember, you heard it first here on India Today. Mosmi, thanks very much for that.